It's time for the NFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Dallas. It's the Saints and the Cowboys, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Coming up, a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a potential classic in store, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship... The winner here, of course, a trip to Las Vegas for Super Bowl 58. Not a bad prize as we are underway in the NFC Championship game. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing. Prescott. He'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. 13 yards and a first down Cowboys. now Prescott and he's taken down here by the Saints Emmanuel Agba it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it but defensively on the previous play they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage but right there they got a good portion of it right back and if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective took a nice step forward and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Prescott now on second down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hill. So the completion good for just three. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Prescott. Take him down. The big Vita Vea pushing his way through to wind up with a sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Forty-six yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick back in 2020 from LSU. It's Joe Burrow. And when you come into the league as the number one guy selected, a lot of hype comes with it. Sometimes that weight can be unbearable. But this young man, he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine. And I love his ability to make a second third reaction play and create downfield. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Here's Burrow. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Had an open man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Uh, first carry now for Jaleel McLaughlin. And he powers his way up past the 30. 
A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here's Hill on the return. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. The throw over the middle, take it in. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go ahead with the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Prescott now from the 50. And now a fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage. Prescott. He had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? On the ground, here's McLaughlin. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Foul. So that a potential lifeline offensively gets them out of harm's way deep in their own end. You nailed that one perfectly because those are the kind of mistakes that give defense coordinators fits. They make a good play and they let them off the hook. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Play action's supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw here into the hands of the receiver, Judy. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Looking to pass. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Not much happening offensively here early on. That's two drives. It's zero first down. This defense, they come to play. They're the better of the two units here so far. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? 
How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right? Where these teams are locked in and going at it. No points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. Yeah, he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end, and that play going nowhere. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now the throw on third down, not to Ray, and incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. So possession goes over here on the punt, and they will take over first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Up past the 30, second down coming up. You feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. What a ball, that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. That's going to be a six-yard gain and leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. They snapped that at one. Now it's Burrow. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. About the show put out by these two defenses in this first half. The fireworks don't have to be just offensively. Neither one of them given an inch. And that's good coverage once again there before it's another fourth down. And this returnable for Hill. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48 and a return of eight. Dallas offense set for this next drive. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it brings up third and five now. Prescott now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Down in short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just gonna be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's gonna bring up second and eleven. The first carry now. This is Johnson. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. That second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. Prescott to throw it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And this is a beauty as that ball's going to angle out at the six-yard line. 
Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two. Second down at six now. As they've got it as we resume action. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. Here's McLaughlin. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Pass complete to Judy on the out route. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math. They did it well, and it works for them. Able to hit his target run. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. From the 41, here's second and six. And they'll run it here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And they'll bring Judy in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. The give is to McLaughlin. And same result. He's going to take this just to the line of scrimmage before running into a brick wall. And this offense on third down today. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine. Now it's Burrow. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he takes us just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Eleven more on that one, and another first down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Big Derek Brown making the stop. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And he's able to work free for about six down to the 18. So a tug on the face mask, and that's going to cost him 15 yards. And sometimes it'll go unnoticed, but that one, pretty obvious for everyone to see. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. Now it's Burrow. Left side the rail. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. From the two now, second and goal. At the two-yard line. 
McLaughlin, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Fights through it. Now it's caught. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Oh, it's time to give more credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a draft route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. On play action, Prescott. And he's got his receiver Cooper. And they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. Now they have the competitors on this drive, but they killed off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Up the middle, it's Williams. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. But well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Run of the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. What a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. Still leading 10 yards. Now it's third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. The kick by Bass is good. And that will tie us. 3-3. That was perfect from distance. He steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. Here's a diving catch right side. 15 yards is the pick up there on the drive, starting very nicely. First down. A Hall of Fame coach once said, there are no medals for trying. And that wasn't a trying effort, was it? That was a winning effort. How about that great catch? Excellent. They know, hey, you lose this game, you get a ding or two. You got seven months to heal. They're going to go all in. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. From the 38 now, here's second and five. On the handoff, McLaughlin. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Eckler. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. 
Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. And this will get inside the 20 and be touched down just outside of the 15-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. A second down throw for Prescott. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Throwing Prescott. And it is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 30 before he's taken down. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. It's not often that you find offensive and defensive guys that'll agree on much, but one place they find common ground, you've got to protect or attack the middle of the field. And no one was there. What a big play moving it downfield. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. But this is caught by Williams. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Prescott on play action to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, he's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. Prescott on third and goal. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head to a halftime. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. That is incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious doorways call this penalties. Now Burrow, he'll get this out wide to Ackler. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. From the gun on third down is Burrow. To the sideline and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. 
So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. What half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis Trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, time to look ahead to the AFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders matching up with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half as one of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. To find out who, let's turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Saints going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's into the hands of McLaughlin. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now. As they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Now Hill to return it. An eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They're going deep for Hill. That is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Second down, Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They try the left side here with Williams. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchdown. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. They're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Now a handoff up the middle. McLaughlin. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try it for some bigger yardage. Burrow. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. And they'll bring Judy in motion right. 
And they'll go on the ground. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. We're just shy of midfield. Here's second down at seven. Now Burrow. And his throw is incomplete. So much of his game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. And he'll be tackled after a gain of four. Still three yards short. Fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And this one will sail out of bounds. It will depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. They begin the drive with Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's Prescott. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to convert by 20 there on third and one. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for the first down. And they went this well up field across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. A gain of three, second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Now Prescott. He'll get that to point to his tight end commit. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there. And now fourth down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will pin them back as it's out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they'll take this forward only up to about the seven. So that a free 15 yards. And it's always a tough one as a defender because a lot of the penalties that you commit, pass interference, holding, when they happen, you actually know what you're doing. But a face mask penalty, a lot of times is inadvertent, but it still costs you the same amount of yardage. A carry from McLaughlin. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The linebacker, Jeremiah Rusu Koromoa, on the tackle. On second down, here's Burrow. That's going to be caught by Judy. 
And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Burrow on play action. Open man downfield is Lamb. It's complete. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one goes for 30 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. In motion right, that's Collins. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Kendall Fuller in on the stop. Now a second and six. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Derek Brown breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Burrow. Now he'll escape to his right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Gano's kick is good, and that will tie things up at 6-6. Six, six. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves it with two to go on second down. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington, second and a couple. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Prescott now. Open man is here. He's got it. Four yards to pick up. First down. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Seems pretty obvious defensively key was stopping the run game. How they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take the run. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Emmanuel Agba there on the stop. Prescott now on second down. This one into the hands of Thielen. And they got him right across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest. And a first down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? 
Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He is out of bounds right around the 10 yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. In the top game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. In motion left, that's Thielen. They'll fake the jet sweep, and instead of give up the middle to Williams. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Now second and 5. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Third and short yardage. Prescott to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. The kick by Bass is good. And they take the lead here as it's now 9-6. to six. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he returns this to the 22. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. A field goal would tie the game. A touchdown, of course, gives them the lead. Boy, the drama intensifying on every single play with a Super Bowl berth on the line. Jordan Brooks on the tackle. Second and five. On the ground, here's McLaughlin. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 45 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. But partner, the defense isn't going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven yard runs over and over. They're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the field book for another time. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. Here's McLaughlin dancing away at the 35. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Five yards, now it's third and five. Burrow throw. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They go play action with Burrow. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Man open here is Jones. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 36. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 36. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Eckler. 
fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. The give is to McLaughlin, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. Yeah, maybe that extra hut, you know, <laughs> that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. C.D. Lamb from a yard out. And the Saints have taken the lead here now in the fourth quarter of this championship game. Well, I think we both got to think in, in the team that scores the first TD may be the one to win this football game. And here we go. Our first touchdown, and it comes in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and it's a testament that both of these defense were able to hold the line this long. But now, on the other side of the field, they've got to be thinking if they got it done, we should be able to punch one in ourselves. Extra point try, good by Godot. And that will make this a four-point game. Godot now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that, with a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter. This possession, gigantic. Uh, quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, He's got second and third down to fall back on. Prescott. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a game of 34. But this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott. This one swung out to Williams. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Options galore here. Second and a few inches. And again, it's Prescott. Completes it right side to Cooper. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. That's good for our Cowboys. To throw is Prescott. On a huge mistake late, it's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisko. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. How does the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here? And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. On second down, Burrow. 
That's complete. It's Collins. And now a timeout taken here defensively with 2.07 remaining. So they'll also have the stop coming up at the two-minute warning. On the screen, this is Eckler. A good display of footwork. It gets him just inside the five to the four. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Third and five. Now it's Burrow. Forced out to his left. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. Gano's kick is good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. So Dak and the Cowboys down by seven, 36 seconds remaining. And they've got to travel to full 75 yards, and time is obviously a huge factor here. First and 10. Here's second down. And he'll get up and spike it with 11 seconds remaining. Super Bowl aspirations on the line. A critical one here. It's third down. Here's Prescott. Incomplete. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle somewhere. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. And it is a big left down there defensively. They somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long. So Charles, oh so close on one side to getting to that Super Bowl. Oftentimes, we just show the stage and the glitz and the glamour, the confetti. You sometimes forget about those guys going home. It's got to be tough. It's got to be beyond tough because finding a way to steal yourself Make that resolve to come back and do it again because it took a lot of work just to get to this point. It's going to be a difficult offseason for them. Let's see how they bounce back. And that'll close the books on the conference championship for Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew. We'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl.